You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports. If you're new to the channel, punch the subscribe, like, comment, share this out. Most definitely let us know what you think about this video and this subject. It seems the NHL is going to walk away from NHL pride jerseys. It's not lost on me that this is actually Pride Month that they're announcing they will no longer do Pride jerseys, and I find that hilarious. And why is this happening? It's very likely that this is happening due to the outrage of, like, three teams and just a few players that chose not to wear these jerseys, generally speaking, because of their religious beliefs. But because the world exploded... When these players chose not to wear these Pride jerseys or these teams chose not to take part in the Pride warm-up jerseys, it may have very well got these things banned. And I find that hilarious. Let's get to this. We'll also take a look at the players again that decided not to do this. NHL players will not wear Pride jerseys during warm-ups anymore. Keeping the focus on the game. It has been officially labeled a distraction. Well, that's what happens when you get away from sports. If if you leagues would just keep to the actual sport you're playing in, you'd be just fine. But no, you want to get involved with social causes and political stances. And yeah, you're going to see drama come with that. That's, That's what happens. The NHL and several of its teams and players caught both flack and praise in response to not wearing LGBT-themed jerseys during warm-ups on their respective Pride Nights. In order to avoid any, quote, distractions, NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman says themed jerseys will no longer be wore on the ice. Quote, I suggested that it would be appropriate for clubs not to change their jerseys in warm-ups because it has become a distraction and taking away from the fact that all these clubs in some form or another host nights in honor of various groups or causes, and we'd rather them continue to get the appropriate attention that they deserve and not be a distraction. Bettman told Sportsnet at the NHL Board of Governors meeting on Thursday. The announcement came in the midst of Pride Month, while the league has been criticized for not making the LGBTQ community welcome at its games, which Bettman called, quote, legitimate concerns. Oh, but in the final analysis, all the efforts and emphasis on the importance of these various courses have been undermined by the distraction in terms of which teams, which players. This way, we're keeping the focus on the game and on the specialty nights. We're going to be focused on this cause. Pride nights and other heritage celebrations will stay, Bettman said. All those nights will continue. The only difference is we are not going to change the jerseys for warm-ups because that's just become more of a distraction, really, from the essence of what the purpose of these nights are. Bettman even said that themed jerseys will be sold, designed, and that players could even model them. It's really just a question of what's on the ice. Defenseman Ivan Provorov of the Philadelphia Flyers brought the issue to light when he refused to wear the team's pride-themed jersey during warm-ups, citing his Russian Orthodox religion. His jersey became one of the best league's best-selling jerseys shortly after his stance. I think it ended up being the number one sold jersey. The Chicago Blackhawks, New York Rangers, and the Minnesota Wild also pulled out of wearing such sweaters despite previously advertising that they would. While other players among several teams opted to not to do so, citing both religious and safety concerns. And I've got those players right here. Theme jerseys became a contentious is- issue this season after multiple players, including Florida Panthers Eric and Mark Stahl, refused to wear pride theme warm ups. Uh, let's scroll down. These are the other ones. Uh, the decision not to mandate team wide pride activities may have been an effort to avoid focus on players who decline to participate. Like the Stahl brothers, the San Jose Sharks goaltender James Reimer and Philadelphia Flyers defenseman Ivan Provorov cited their religion 
Buffalo Sabres defenseman Isla Libushkin and Blackhawks cited Russian anti-gay laws as the reason behind their decision. Either way, the decision to participate dominated the headlines and led to uncomfortable post-warm-up questions. The NHL will now avoid that tension by taking the choice away altogether. I find that hilarious. That essentially what it seems happened because a few players and a few teams said, no, we don't want to do that. We got players that don't want to wear them. We got players that are Christian or have other religious beliefs that don't agree with the lifestyle. They're going to choose not to wear them because so many places. And look, when that happened, the world exploded. I mean, there were articles from woke mainstream media outlets that were being written. I mean, there was, uh, they were talking on television about it. It was just going insane. It was a massive story. And because of that outrage, Gary Bettman, who's woke as hell, by the way. I mean, the NHL commissioner is not worth a shit. But uh, he has come out and said that all became a distraction. So it's banned. We're not doing it anymore. I find that funny. Again, it is Pride Month. Sorry, Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. No Pride jerseys in the NHL. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. I'm still, I think, a big Texas Rangers fan. Yeah. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. The NHL said enough is enough. We're just not doing it. Why were you doing it to begin with? Why are any of you doing it? Stick to sports. It's easy. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.